Hey, what's up everyone? It's Grim here, and uh, just give you a little bit of background of the game that's going on in the background. Um, this is a TDM with myself and Goat, and we are playing on one of the worst maps, I think, in Black Ops 2, if not in Call of Duty full stop, and that is Turbine. And to give you a little spoiler, we win, but it takes a little bit of clutch, well, a little bit of luck, you're not clutch, clutch Clutch denotes that there was some level of skill in it. It wasn't. I got lucky with some kill streaks and managed to turn the game around right at the end. So stay tuned and watch out for that because it is pretty sweet. Um, it's a really cool lightning strike and then a really nice uh, hailstorm to follow up to give us the lead. But um, enough of that stuff. Far more important in the world of Call of Duty. And this is groundbreaking, guys. I mean, we've had obviously the new perk system that's coming in. We've got, you know, the. In fact, the kind of COD currency has come back. We've got, as I say, the dedicated so There's a lot of good stuff with Ghost. You know, death streaks have gone. A lot of big stuff. A lot of good, exciting news. But nothing, nothing will bring gamers back to Call of Duty as much as an advert with Megan Fox in it. Yes. See, already I can hear the people that have started to play Battlefield 4 thinking, whoa. And it's true. I don't know what that guy was doing. I think he was just hip firing for days. Yes, Megan Fox is going to appear in an advert for Call of Duty. And however much they spent on her to get her in, no doubt it is worth it. When you've got grade A acting talent in a Call of Duty advert, it's just. It's going to be good. <sighs> God. Um. Yep. Yeah. Don't ask me why we now have an advert coming out this Saturday that's live action. With Megan Fox in it, and um, I couldn't fucking care less. How about Infinity Ward? You take that money, because I don't need a fucking Eminem soundtrack. As cool as it was, I don't need Eminem doing music for it. I don't need Megan Fox in fucking adverts. What I need is for you to make a good fucking game, which I'm hoping Ghost is. But, but, if you fucked up, if you've ruined the perk balance, if you've fucking done some douchebaggery move somewhere in the course of making this game, I will go fucking ape shit. Okay? Just, I'm letting you know that Infinity Ward, and I think a lot of people will. We are not fucking happy with you at the moment. We've had, we've had the Marmite, okay, that was Black Ops 2. Some people love it, say it's the best one they've ever played. Some people hate it and say it's just a follow-on from Modern Warfare 3's shitness. And, whoo, yes, Modern Warfare 3, which was a shit sandwich. Again, very few people liked it, but some apparently did who are crazy um, and obviously never played any other Call of Duty. But, um, yeah, and I don't mean to start out on a negative point on this, guys. It is just the fact that I see all this stuff going on, and you just think, why? Why, why, why? Like, okay, I'll give you another example. Mark Rubin, I love you. You're coming to London. God bless you. And he's going to be here for launch. Now, I'd uh, welcome to my country. It's not actually my country. I don't own, really, I own a little patch of it because I own a house, but that's it. I don't own a lot of it. Um, but yeah, welcome to our country, I should say. But Battlefield 4, which has run on dedicated servers for a while, has had many problems, and it generally always does first week. Okay, there's always issues with connection. So this, the top guy, the big enchilada, the Grando Chizo, is in London when this game launches. Okay. Now what happens if there is an almighty fuck up? What happens if the servers go down? If there's some glitch in the code and the matrix all goes fucking peak dog and I start seeing cats repeatedly walk in front of my doorway? He's in fucking London. Now I know we live in a world of, you know, infinite possibilities of connecting with each other. But still, I'd rather have the guy in fucking America with his fucking hands on the buttons to make all these things right. But, again, I'm trying to give myself a Debbie Downer. I'm trying to be... I don't want to get excited for Call of Duty Ghosts. And I say this every video, I don't want to be super excited, you know, T. Martin Gamma Lab level excited, because I don't want to be let down. Modern Warfare 3, as I say, I thought was a shitstorm. 
Black Ops 2, compared to Modern Warfare 3, was brilliant, but just... They didn't do the follow-up work that they should have done. Uh, there was so much talked about with regards to this black box of magic that never seemed to do anything. As I say, you know, I'm not the only one to say how much fucking dust has built up on top of that, that black box. But... And that... And if I wasn't even going to have a rant on this video. I'm already five and a half minutes in. It wasn't actually going to be a rant one. What I wanted to talk about was the perk system. I don't know if you guys have seen Charlie and Tail Legend once again. Um, put up quite an interesting thing about the perks. And it was just kind of uh, everything we know to get ready for, obviously, Tuesday. Um, and the different perks there are, how they're broken down. We all know this. I'm not going to just... Talk. I'm not just going verbatim through it because one, you guys can see it for yourself, and two, uh, one or two, and I don't mean to scare you about this, or you know, spoiler alert, one or two other YouTubers have talked about the perk system. I know, don't freak out. But I really, 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 really hope that they've thought about and balanced the perks. And I know the first thing is, like, oh, dead eye, or oh my god, danger close. But I mean more in the fact of things like um, Off the Grid. Because if Off the Grid is used by everybody, so that's three points, you've got 12 points allotted to you straight away, and then you can, you can add points to your list by not having a primary, not having a secondary, not having a lethal, not having tactical. So potentially you can add more points onto that 12 points. But you've got 12 points to start with. Now, 3 points are off the grid. Still doesn't seem that much to me for what it gives you. If it was only when moving, then I'd say, yeah, okay. It actually might be worth it. No, oh, sorry. It, you know, 3 points would kind of make sense. But it gives you complete immunity from off the grid. Which then means that the... Now, I apologise. I'll probably get the names wrong. But the wiretap, the one where you can tap into the enemy... Um, enemy SATCOM network becomes useless because if everybody's got off the grid on nobody's going to run SATCOMs they're just going to be like what's the point I'm going to start my kill streaks at or well, I'm either going to run specialist or I'm going to run here we go here we go here we go here we go oh thank you um, and then we follow it up follow it up with a little bit of this oh thank you and that whips us into the lead. But sorry, I was just like, yes, I was so pumped when that happened. But I really hope there is balance because, as I say, like if like, I hope um, there isn't a, another sit rep style. I know there is, but I hope it's balanced because that completely counteracted the point of having ninja. So if their sit rep style makes stuff, is it awareness or loudness or whatever the fuck it's called? You know, that counteracts ninja. So there isn't any point in having ninja. Everybody with a headset is going to run this awareness thing. And I don't think it's that many points. I think it's only two points. It's just, I hope there's balance in the game. And if there's not, I hope they take the time to balance it. To tweak, to do patches. Because I don't... I honestly don't mind getting patches left, right and centre. If they explain it. If they communicate with the community and say, look, these are the reasons we're doing it. These are the tweaks. This is why... Then people accept it. You might get annoyed, like the sniper nerfs, death threats, but I just hope. I just, I'm really, as I say, trying to give myself a Debbie Downer, but I just hope that there's balance and synergy, and that this perk system is going to work, and that the first three points everybody spends isn't on fucking off the grid, and we get a camp fest. Here's hoping, guys, and oh, not long now. Catch you later. Have a good one.